Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for mid-March. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and then we'll clarify that and get into what's going on with you and your person. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the information's in the description box below the video or in my about section of my channel. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, I just saw the five of swords and the 10 of swords. So there's a sense of fighting through like negative thought processes. A part of you just kind of wants to, it feels like, push those things aside. It's like you don't want to dwell on the mental aspect of things. You don't want to allow things to creep into your mind and stay there long term. So the end of this month, after a very emotional couple of weeks in the beginning of March, for a lot of signs, but probably especially for you guys, it feels like it's time to make that shift out of that energy. We have a full moon coming up. So some things that you've been hoping might release... Um, a lot of people, when I do readings, say, I just want to let this feeling go. Like, I just don't want to be in this space anymore. That's what it feels like you're pushing through. All right. So in the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So there could have been some good news that came in that helped kind of relieve some of that emotional angst or mental energy that you were dealing with. And it looks like it was great news. So for some of you, this could have been a raise something that um, helped improve your finances or there was um, a situation within, all right, I'm going to give you two different dynamics. If for some reason you were parting ways with another person, it feels like the money is going to be okay and the fear or angst or emotional fear that might have been around that has been cleared. It feels like somebody gave you a message that helped you realize that things are going to be okay. That's what we, the place that we get to spiritually when we understand that even through difficult times, we really are okay. I know financial struggles can be scary, especially for cancers, but in this case, it's like it helps to put you at ease that you're, you're going to be okay no matter what. All right. And then in the current energy we have, yeah, because you're getting over some of that. You've learned some lessons and I think that's important to point out. If you're relaxing into your journey, you're understanding that you've already overcome some of those um, fears, maybe some of those heavy emotions, the highs and lows that you could have felt. Again, we have a page of swords. So you've got two different messengers here. Now, you could have somebody who's paying attention to the shifts that you're making and they see this from an external place. Could be anybody in your life. It feels very specifically like an energy of somebody who may have made a mistake with you. And now they're seeing the changes that you're making and a part of them feels a sense of regret. So temperance is coming up to say that, yes, at times your emotions can go back and forth and that relaxing into knowing that no matter what you're emotional beings and you're going to have those highs and lows, that it's okay that you're still okay even in sometimes the darkest of places. All right, so in the near future, we have the star with the page of wands in reverse and the ace of cups. Some of you could be in a place where you feel like you're ready to manifest something new on an emotional level. Does it have to be love? Not necessarily. That isn't the only thing that fulfills human beings. We can love a lot of things in our lives. So we're going to clarify this in just a moment, but just know that something that you've been really focused on, if it's releasing certain emotions, she's got, I'm going to show you, she's got one cup in the back and one pouring into here. And it's like, while I can accept the emotions of the past, I can also pour my energy into something new. And it's a, a fulfilling feeling. It's overcoming certain obstacles and knowing that no matter what, you figure out how to get there on an emotional level as well. This is wishing upon a star. So in the near future, something that you've been desiring, it could be new love, might come towards you. Now, the page of wands in reverse 
feels a little bit like hesitant energy. You've probably dealt with, you know, some immature energies and you realize now that as difficult as they were, it definitely taught you something. Now, you could have a child also. Um, there's like this bittersweet kind of energy. Maybe there's a child energy that is moving on. This feels a little too personal. I'm not going to make this about me. But yes, I do have a child that will be moving out in the near future. So we can still um, focus our energy on ourselves and our desires moving forward once children leave our circumstances. So some of you may have a child that you realize is pulling back a little bit and moving on with their life. And you feel like you want to start focusing on the things that you really love. That's just going to be for some of you. The Eight of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So there might have been a feeling of, yes, I feel a little bit trapped in my own energy, but it's it's just, I want to say it happens periodically, and then you find a way out of that. All right, so the Seven of Swords is showing up on the bottom. There could have been an energy recently that you questioned around whether you can trust it or not. I, I don't want to focus too much on that because there's been enough deception with cancers. You've had to go through a lot of hurdles to get to the place that you are now. So let's focus on what this good news was and this sense of things are going to be okay on a financial level. You could just be focusing on saving money as well, getting yourself into a really good place where you feel comfortable. And that's going to be different for all of you. Not everybody needs the same amount of money in order to feel secure, you may be realizing that, hey, it's great to have it, but am I enjoying my life? Happiness is really what matters, not necessarily how much money I have. All right, so the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So remember I said that somebody walked away from a situation? This is the aftermath of that, saying even though you walked away and it was difficult, you're getting beyond that and you're realizing that you're going to be okay. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. That's where things balance out. Because it's in reverse here, there may have been some fear in the beginning about walking away from something. And then you realize that things balanced out. It really is okay. And there's not as much emotion or fear involved in that anymore. All right. So let's look at the Five of Wands with the Page of Swords. And then we have the Hermit. So something really became clear to you. As much as we do the introspection and the work, sometimes it takes a little extra effort and truly seeing someone or something for what it is. And to me in this particular card, he's shining the light on a snake. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody was a snake in your life. It could have been. And yes, you're recognizing those people you have been for a long time and what they represent and why they had to show up in your world. But it's also a sense of, Shining a light on yourself, shedding your skin, shedding the old you that may have been in a long-term situation and are now opening up to the idea that you're not who you used to be. This inner reflection that you've been doing could have been just the last couple of weeks where you broke open and you're like, I'm just not the same that person that I used to be. I don't need or want or desire the same things. And that's really illuminating. It's empowering. And that's what it feels like. And then the judgment card comes out behind that to say, you're being looked out for. And they're saying, yes, you're on the right path. So if you have any questions about whether you're taking the proper steps, yes, absolutely. The Page of Swords to me is a message from Spirit saying, yes, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're transforming. All that inner work and all those lessons are going to pay off. They probably have in some small way in the recent past that allowed you to realize your value, your worth, and that it's okay to pursue the things that make you happy instead of putting your energy into something else or into other people. Now, it could have been a little bit disappointing, but I think you're okay if you've had to, like I said, shine that light on a person or really, really accept that it is what it is. All right, so let's look at the Page of Swords with Temperance. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. So there's a part of you that may feel like you're still dredging through some of the mud. It's good because it can be both. It could be, okay, yeah, there's a little bit of dredging still left to do. But that's okay. I'm going to be patient with myself. I'm not going to force myself to 
push forward and have all the answers and have everything done right away because I've gone through a difficult situation. Temperance is saying through those times, you know, temper your emotions, see where it's worth putting the energy into and where it may not be. Yep. You're going to do a lot of back and forth through any kind of a healing process. If you're going through that and having um, come to an end with a situation, but you know, more so now, I think consciously, that you're going to get through it. It never feels that way when you're in the thick of it. But at this point, I feel like you're okay. It's like the emotions come and go instead of being with you consistently all the time. All right. So let's look at the star with the page of wands in reverse. There's something coming about. I keep wanting to say like there's this new opportunity. Some of you could be putting yourselves out there in a way that you hadn't before. So you could be seen by more people. Um, emotionally, it feels like you're ready now where maybe before you weren't, if you have a channel, maybe you do what I do and you've decided, Hey, you know what? I want to show my face or I'd like to go after something. I don't have fear anymore. Spirit saying it's exactly what you've been wishing for. So pay attention to that. Now, as difficult as releasing whoever this energy is, whether it be a child or a person in your life that is a little bit younger. I'm not going to say they're immature necessarily. I just feel like a younger type of energy. It's meant to happen. It's meant for that disconnection so that you can start focusing on your individual self, your own emotions. If you've been giving away a lot of emotions to children in your life, then this is an opportunity to focus on yourself. All right. So let's get the clarification. And then the two of pentacles is what they're showing me. So it is about balancing, right? It's life is a balancing act. And it's no matter how much you wish that things could either stay the same or happen really quickly so you could feel comfortable again, you're just finding a way to balance your energy through the shifts and changes. It does feel like this is a wish come true in some way, even if it's a bittersweet one. All right, so let's look at the Page of Wands with the Ace of Cups. And then we have the strength card. There you go. You have the strength and the courage. Spirit's asking you to have that to balance things out. I think you're gaining it slowly but surely, probably more so in the last couple of weeks through a lot of this emotional release and pain. And you're realizing that this is what you really have been dreaming of for a long period of time. It could be that you want to start exploring new love now. Maybe you're in a position where it's exciting instead of resistance. Now that could be about starting something that you really love and that you've been hoping to put your energy into. And because you're not focused on others as much as you were previously, it gives you more energy. It allows you to really focus directly just on you and not your external uh, circumstances or external uh, people. All right. So I'm going to clear this and we'll get into your person specifically, whoever's on your mind. Let's see what ends up on, yeah, so this is good because the next, this is just a mid-month reading, so I'm not going to say it could go out about 30 days, but it looks like the focus is releasing fears and heavy emotions and things like that, so you could feel a little bit lighter over the next couple of weeks. All right, let's look at you and your person. This is for cancer, please. All right, so your person's energy is the Ace of Cups. There's somebody around you, uh, and they want to they want to talk to you. Maybe you've just recently met someone, and it's new. This person sees you as having yourself together. They're very attracted to you. If you know who I'm talking about, they see you as being very stable. Um, if they haven't come in yet, they have the their energy is working itself towards you. Now, this is about you and your person, so I'm assuming you know who I'm talking about. But this is like a fresh start, a new beginning. And this is how they see you as being someone who is like a go-getter. Someone who goes and gets what they want. They don't sit back even through tough times and allow things to disrupt their, I'm not going to say balance because we all get off balance, but they see you as somebody who's strong and independent. And then the queen of wands, it seems as though they, they are deeply attracted to your energy. All right, so your energy is the Emperor in reverse with the Eight of, or so, sorry, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles in reverse. You've dealt with a lot. Yes, we know that. And at times, like, you may not feel like 
you can be totally yourself around this person. The seven of pentacles, maybe you've backed off because you got tired of waiting. Even if they view you this way and they want like a new beginning, if this is someone from the past, a part of you feel, felt a little disempowered. Part of you doesn't want to put in the energy or wait around. They could have had you in a third party situation in the past. And it's like things just didn't come together. So you didn't stay stuck. And I don't think you're going to stay stuck. So whoever this is, they view you in a beautiful way. Now, I don't think it's the best energy for you. I don't think you want to stay stuck. So maybe there's just a desire to see where things go and you're not going to allow yourself to pr probably repeat something that you have in the past. Let me get a couple of cards from the Romance Angels. And then we'll see what their, their actions are. It looks like this person wants to speak up. They want to come in and tell you how they're feeling. If they haven't expressed this to you already, then it feels like they're going to. Maybe they're going to tell you that they want to move things along. Let's see. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And I think that's going to be your choice in this. You're going to have to choose if this is really what you want. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. That's going within for you to decide. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. There's clearly a connection here. Something that's deeper, you guys know for yourselves. If this is really deep and you feel like you've known this person for a really long time, forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Some of you may just feel like you need to do exactly that, forgive and move on. Uh, I think there's a part of you that was hoping things may change, but you probably are in a position now where you're deciding that it's just not worth hanging out for. You've got to move on and find something new, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So some of you may want them, but most of you, I'm going to say that you're just wanting to close out this chapter and find something different. That's why the Ace of Cups was showing up in your main reading, because a lot of you are going to open up to something different and new. And maybe this, even if it's been a long time since the two of you were together, or if it's been in and out, it took you a while to decide that you could really enjoy a new person. If you hadn't gotten to the place where you've accepted what this was and what it meant for you and hadn't quite gotten through the human emotions of it, you may just decide now, you know, it's a little too hard. I just can't stay here anymore. It's not truly going to make me happy long term. Let's see what their next actions are. So the Queen of Pentacles is showing up. Um, this is the, them, again, and how they view you. The Wheel of Fortune, they're afraid that you're at a place now where you're too secure with yourself and that things may not work out. Higher fan, yeah. They don't have as much faith. So I don't, they may message you, but I don't think they have faith that you will be there ready and willing like you may have been in the past. Your energy is the Page of Wands, seeing things from a new perspective. The Moon, you're not hiding anything. Um, the nine of pentacles, you realize that your independence is more important and maybe you didn't feel that way. There's, there was a sense of, uh, not feeling completely like yourself. So I don't know that you're going to be open to it either. The page of wands really tells me that you see things from a different perspective. All right. So let's get the lover's oracle and see what shows up here. All right, so we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. That's very important. I think a lot of you may have needed to hear that. And then give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Incredible. So it's saying this is the time for you and to get ready because for a lot of you, there's going to be something new and completely different, something you've never experienced before. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So this is really for those of you that are closing one huge chapter of your life and opening yourself up to the idea that it can truly happen. And spirit's trying to give you that indication that it is. So please don't lose hope. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the wisdom of the oracle. What other messages do we have for cancer, please? I just saw Milk and Honey, which is to me is a card of 
needing to nurture yourself, take care of yourself. So this week may be about um, things like taking for the females out there, you know, going and getting your nails done or getting your hair done or doing things that really are just about you. It's about self-nurture, your baths, your salt baths, eating really healthy, stuff like that. Okay, so not for you. And I think you know that. So closing that cycle out of the relationships that no longer serve you. And then we have community, which is an eight. Some of you may actually feel better if you get yourselves outside, if weather permits. There's a need to feel more connected. If you've been isolated quite a bit, let's say you work from home, I feel like this is an indication spirit saying, get out there, go interact in some way, shape, or form, just to shift your energy a bit when you feel a little stuck. And then we have orphaned. There may be a fear. Uh, if you hadn't been alone for a really long time, or you're trying to separate from energies that feel familiar, it could be a little bit scary. So there's a lot of change, but if that feeling of orphaned, I think you'll get through that. I really do. And then we have co-create. So you're creating with spirit. Everything that you desire is going to be something that you work through, obviously with the spirit realm. That's what we're here for. This is not just about reading tarot and talking about relationships. It's about your spiritual connection. So I think it's really important that you maintain that in some aspect of your everyday life, any way you can, whether it be your praying or the things that you probably already do. So I don't need to tell you, but it's really important to stay connected in whatever ways feel right to you. And then we have last card is to the sea. So the seven, it's representing the seventh month. Not all of you are born in July, but a lot of you may be. This could also be your birthday, um, seven, seven or seven, six, the sixth of the month, the eighth, the fifth. So we have consecutive days, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then we all have the fourth. So from the fourth to the seventh seems to be significant. All right, I'm going to try one more, and then we have by the book. So the 11's coming out to find balance. Part, you know, part of you may feel like I want things to look a little bit more traditionally. This is the way I had envisioned things looking long term in a relationship or just in your life, and I think that's how things are going to start looking. <laughs> this is such a cute card. He's got the babies following him. Anyway, that's what I've got for you guys for mid month. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in my about section. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes and your support. Love you guys to pieces. Have a great mid-month and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.